everyone so in this video i'm going to tell you how can you install it as imagine 2014 um there are few steps you have to follow all the steps properly uh, because uh, if you missed one or two step it will have problem and you will not be able to perform any task in it as imagine 2014. so here i have the file it as software so if you go inside it it will have three files x64 foundation and imagine foundation and imagine these two files are actually zip file so you have to unzip it so just right click over here and unzip it. it is extracting so do the same for imagine file right click over here and unzip it. okay now you have seen uh, uh, the foundation file has already been uh, unzipped so just double click over here scroll down you will get a setup file there is an application type command 45 Double click over it, say yes, go to this plus button, it has foundation, and then install. And uh, one more thing you have to uh, you have to turn off this internet service before installing this uh, this software. So if you if you are connected with internet, it will create some problem. So there just do next i have i accept the down like the event next next install it will take some time just wait for it it is done the is clean now wait see after this installation you will see a status of right sign and action modify repair and review even if you see the status is not right just click on modify repair and review but it is advised if it is also uh if it is uh, saying checked then also you have to go for modify repair and remove now go there you have to do just next next okay just next 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 install After that process, we will see the status is checked. If it, it, it was previously not checked, it will be checked if you do this. So just close it. The foundation part is done. So now go to the imagine part. Remind all remind in, uh, just keep in mind that you are not connected to internet. Okay, just scroll down. There is a, uh, there is a file called setup, application type, double click over here, say yes. Go to this plus sign and then install. Next, I accept the terms in license agreement. Next, next, install. It will take some time, just wait. Wait for the completion. Just let it complete. Yes, so it is complete. Completed. Just say finish. And after this, we'll find these two tabs. One is saying, okay, so some actually result going on. Just let it go. Okay, so preparing to install, but there is a uh, file, there, there is a pop up called a dash file association. So just 
let it happen first okay so it is done now see it does file association manager so here uh, there are some uh, checks you have to as you, uh, you have to uh, check all the files here and then say apply after apply just close it okay now you can see both the uh, files actually saying modify repair and remove and both the status are checked if it is not checked then you have to click individual and if it is also checked that is uh, then it is also rec recommended to do it again so if it is checked just go to modify repair and remove press it over here and go for next 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 install Just wait. So as you can see, this first one is completed. Click finish. And then you will see the second one. It is checked, but if it is not checked, then you have to do it. And if it is also checked also, then it is recommended to do modify repair for the second one, just like previous one. Let this happen. let it happen okay so again it does file association manager will pop up and this all files need to be checked then apply okay apply is done then close okay so the foundation and the imaging part of installation is done just close it now the main thing that is 64 so there are three files in 64 and you basically have to copy pasting so just open another folder and just place these two side by side this one is the uh, files and in this tab go to your windows c drive then go to oh, here you can see the program files program files x64 here you can also see the program files and program files x86 so here it is also x86 so just go to the program files then intergraph here also just go to the program files find for intergraph here it is intergraph then it does imagine 14 it does imagine 14 bean bean 32 release 32 release now select all the files over here copy it and paste it over here as i have already installed so that's why it is saying replace in file in the destination if it is not installed it will directly paste i'm just doing replace the file in the destination continue okay so 32 is done now go back to 64 and also just Okay. 
just go back to 64 okay so here it is in 64 here it is in 64 just copy and paste it over here again continue now come back and go to program files x86 again go to your drive it's not actually happening okay so again go in your c drive in your c drive you you can see the program files in your c drive you can see the program files x86 double click over here common files here again common files intergraph intergraph licensing here you have to find licensing 11.11.1 11.11.1 programs programs there are two files copy them and this just paste over here again replacing the destination because i already have installed it previously so that's it so the x64 files is having three files program files program files 86 and integraph license so these two files operation of these two files are being done so just now what you have to do here in the search uh, you have to search for integraph so if you see integraph license administration in here you can open it from here or if you don't see it from here just go to all and then search for integraph okay so here here is integraph if you just open integraph license administration there are two process you can go in any one process so integraph license administration you have to open that say yes wait for it okay so it is opened up now go to files import license files then you have to go here in this x64 you have to go here it is already taken me it is already here so just choose like integral license and open you will not see any okay or any anything over here you have done just close it okay so now you it is already been installed properly see you have to search it does it does imagine 14 app just open it so if you have followed all the processes properly then it will not have any problem while doing any operation on it does imagine but if any one of the process is missed or wrongly applied then it will have some problem so now uh, for example uh, it is uh, this is the interface of the it does imagine so for uh, example if i just open um, some files and do some operation like i have this images so b3 uh, so there are five bands of landsat 8 i have so i just want to open it okay all the all the bands are being opened just fit to layer if i just do fit to frame okay there are five five files uh, there are four actually bands now uh, if i just do stacking just go to raster spectral layer stacking now just select the files okay so in there are uh, the b2 first add then b3 okay add b b3 is done b4 b2 b3 is done b4 add and b5 add now select an output location suppose i want to uh, i want to uh, stack it over here so just stack okay and then click on okay so you can see this operation is going on let it happen okay so it is done 
close and if you just want to open the stack file just go this here you have the new stack file just open it this has been opened and okay so this one's the stack file if you just select it go to multispectral and you can adjust the radiometry from here see this one is the file so that's how you can operate uh, layer stacking and if you have done all the processes correctly it will operate properly thank you